This video will cover using the formula method to find the Jacobian for a robot. The formula method is usually used for complicated robots that have more than three joints, but you can use it for any robot. So if you're given the forward kinematics of the robot and joint variables Q1 to Qn, where Q is either D or theta, then step one is determine the forward kinematics if it's not given. Then locate all joint origins. So the origin for joint one, joint two, joint three, so on, all the way to joint n. Second step is write all the joint axis vectors z, and then do the math by category, getting the linear and angular parts of the Jacobian for revolute or prismatic joints. Those formulas are here. We can split the Jacobian into linear and angular, where the linear one is for the X, Y, Z, and the angular is for the roll pitch yaw. For the linear, assume all joints but the ith joint, so whatever you're working on is fixed, and look at the end effector velocity. So we would use these two formulas, the cross product for the revolute joint to get end effector velocity, and for the prismatic joint, you would just look at the velocity. For the angular, a prismatic joint would have no angular velocity, so that's just zero. And the revolute joint would just have a velocity around that z-axis. So now let's look at an example of how to calculate this. We need to find the Jacobian for this two-link robot using the formula method. Step one is find all of the joint origins. And all of these are in the zero frame. Step two is find the z-axis vectors, also given relative to the zero frame. Step three is use formulas. These are all revolute joints. So first we will find the joint origins, O0, O1, and O2. O0 in the zero frame is just zeros. Then O2, O1 that's going to be this point. So that is L1 and then times cosine and sine of theta 1. The final origin is going to be L2 added to origin 1. Next, we need to find the z-axis vectors. These are actually all the same. They all point out of the page. Then next we need to use the formulas to get JV and J omega. Since these are revolute joints, So if we put that in a matrix here, we'll have JV, J omega equals, then we'll have for joint one and joint two. For joint one, ZI minus one would be Z zero. Cross with, O n minus O i minus one, so that is O two, because two is n, two joints. Minus O zero. And then for joint two, instead of Z zero and O zero, we use Z one and O one.
So now to get this cross product, we would need to cross O2 and Z1. But since all the Z vectors are the same, we'll do kind of a shortcut calculation here. So now we can plug this into the big matrix. So for joint one, we'll have O2 minus O0, but O0 is just zero. So really we'll have O2 to do this cross product with. But here, this robot can only move in X and Y. So really, the Jacobian needs to be a two by two. So we just get rid of all of that bottom junk because it doesn't actually matter. <laughs> 